How do you think the word God Almighty was first defined? What comes to mind when we hear the word Almighty? I think for most of us, in our natural way of thinking, we think of a power so mighty that it can crush anything, anyone that crosses its way, that offends, that defies. That's our human definition for Almighty. But um, what if it is not that at all? What if that is just our human idea of what God is, what Almighty is? What if Almighty is when you are all of that and you get crossed and offended and you do not respond in the same manner what if that is the definition of Almighty? Meeting, crushing defeat and offense with love, to not meet it in kind. The principle has been mentioned in the scriptures in various places. But if we have the definition of God wrong to start with, we, we have a hard time comprehending what that look like, looks like. What if almightiness is expressed by not meeting out in kind and measuring out in kind and in judgment? What if it means you're so aware of your almightiness that you don't have to respond in kind. What if almightiness actually appears as weakness? What if almighty means that you chose to leave behind your almightiness, your limitlessness, your infinite limitlessness, to wrap yourself in a body of weakness. What if you are almighty, but you took on the form of weakness and fragility? Is that mighty? I think it's mighty. It's mighty to make yourself so small and so vulnerable. That is mighty. That is almighty. Yeah, there's a lot to rethink, a lot to re realize our human definitions have got it wrong backwards. Yeah. And we did get that story from Jesus as God coming down in the form of a little baby in swaddling clogs. But we never made the connection that the same thing is true about us, about you and me. You and me are the expression of God's consciousness 
that has limited itself. It came down and limited itself within our bodies, within our incarnation. You are almighty. You just don't remember. <laughs> That's the only difference. You don't remember. But the universe has opened up the portals for us. We have opened up. Our higher self has opened up the portal to remember. And so the giants or the titans are returning. Do you make the connection? You are the Gibor, the Gibberim, the Titans of old. And you have returned, you are returning in your memory. The giants have returned and it's nothing to be afraid of. Christ, your hope of glory is here. Your glory has come. You are a titan. A man of renown. The ancient. The ancient of days. The almighty.